Hi guys, it's Alex back with another review. So today I'm going to be doing Be The Change. So Be The Change is a rooibos tea. This tea came out the last year. I want to say it was 2020 or 2019. I, I, it's one of those two, but I'm not too sure. I think it's 2020. Yeah. So, um, it is Be The Change and I just made it hot in my little, um, Be Nordic mug. This is from, um, spring of 2020. Um, when they released this mug, they did such a good job on it. This is one of their, cause like, I don't know, they're Nordic mugs. David's Tea has released some pretty crappy Nordic mugs over the last few months. But this one, this is definitely a favorite of mine. I love this mug so much. I used it for work i used it some at home it's a little dirty here anyways but that's okay um so i have it prepped in my little nordic mug and i have it hot uh, i did try to look up a preparation time for this tea on steepster and there was no recommended prep time so since it's a rooibos i kind of just did five minutes and that's it um, all right, so it says, be the change. It is a rooibos. Embrace the invigorating powers of this vibrant floral honey rooibos. Ingredients are rose hips, apple, rooibos, honey bush, uh, and chia, and chia, and chia, rose petals, marigold blossoms, or sorry, marigold flowers, pink corn flower blossoms, corn flower petals, natural flavoring with stevia extract, fenugreek fun seeds, red clover flower. All right, fenugreek seeds. Interesting. All right. So, oh, this tea has mixed reviews. Mostly bad. Um, I'm going to be honest. This tea hasn't been very popular or liked by a lot of the members on the group. It has not been liked by a lot of the uh, DT community. It hasn't been liked by a lot of staff. A lot of tea drinkers don't like this tea for some reason. I do remember trying this tea last year i think once and i forget how it tastes so i'm just like okay um so i was like oh i'll just do it again so i did go in store last week to pick up uh, what was i getting oat milk latte to do a review and i just picked some of this up just to do a review um and this is on sale super cheap this is available now on uh, online and in store two dollars and 69 cents per 50 grams uh use this use the code steep 20 if you want an extra 20 percent off that um yeah so this tea it is very floral the ingredients there is more this is the most floral tea i've ever seen ingredients wise like i've never seen another tea as filled with floral ingredients as this i'm being completely honest this is supposed to come off as a honey floral type of tea i smelt the loose leaf and it is extremely floral um a lot of flowers you can see that the nice um, blue corn, corn, ugh, corn flower petals are in there. A lot, a lot, a lot of flower petals, floral notes, floral ingredients. So if you guys don't like floral anything, like if you guys can't stand floral, don't even look at this tea. Don't try this tea at all. It's, it's, you're just going to be disappointed. I like floral. Um, anything that's rose, cherry blossom, um, I'm trying to think of other floral teas, uh, <laughs> I don't know if white neck no white nectarine wouldn't really be a floral tea anyways um so anything that's floral i'm i i usually tend to like um i don't mind floral notes in teas i like it a lot depending on how they do it and depending on how strong it is so the fact that they added honey to this it's actually kind of interesting um but i thought that it would be a good tea since i enjoy honey and i also enjoy enjoy floral notes a lot of people don't like this tea and i am going to give it a try i don't remember how this tastes so i hope this is uh okay to drink okay mm -mm. all right so i made the big mistake <laughs> of adding more honey stupid me yeah okay so stupid me added more honey just ignore that so you don't need to add sweetener because i was like it's probably the lightest hint of floral or it's probably the lightest hint of honey i'm going to add a little bit more to really oomph the honey up uh that was a mistake because now it's way too sweet <laughs> um you do get the floral notes it is it's not bad that's a thing like it's not it's not a bad tea like it's not a hated tea by any means but it's also not one that I like. 
the honey aspect in it is very nice and then you do the floral does overpower the honey of course because it is more floral ingredients rather than like honey based ingredients um you do get a taste of the apple too which is good um but it's mostly a floral honey based tea um i think this tea would actually be good if you were sick with a cold if you're sick with a cold and need something that's honey and and just um floral just very calming i feel like this could be a sleepy time tea as well just because of how light and how soothing this tea is to me i find that this tea brings me back memories to when i was sick in bed and my mom would like give me tea to drink with honey and lemon that's what this is kind of reminding me of but this is more of a floral note rather than like a lemon note I don't know guys I actually I enjoy this one this one's not bad I know some people hate this tea and I don't know why I was trying to think I'm like should I make this iced or should I make this hot and I'm like I'm gonna try making this hot to really feel the honey aspect in this just because the honey is strong and the floral is strong the floral is stronger than the honey it's like 75% and then the honey being the um remaining 25% <clears throat> so um I enjoy this tea I find that this could be a sleepy time tea um it's floral and it's honey if you guys don't like floral stay away from it uh I personally enjoy this tea I wish I kind of, I kind of wish I bought more because I was like I don't remember this tea and I only got 20 grams and I used that to make this cup so who knows I might actually buy some more of this I don't know if, if it stays on sale, if it, if it goes down anymore, I feel like this tea is going to go on a further clearance just because of how hated this tea is. I do know Danny from oh, Teas by Danny loves this tea. And I'm like, you know what? If she loves floral stuff, then I feel like I'm going to love floral stuff because I love floral teas. But then I've heard from other people that they hate it. I've heard from people that work at my local David's Tea hate it. I've heard that friends on the group hate it. Like, everyone hates it. But I, I like this one. This one's not bad. Uh, what I repurchase, yes. What I stock up, no. Uh, rating out of 10, for it being a honey-based tea, because I do love honey. I add honey as my sweetener to almost anything. Um, not teas anymore, unless they're traditional, but... I do enjoy this one. This one's good. Um, so for me personally, this is rated a 7 out of 10. Just because I do love honey very much. And this is a honey-based floral tea. I, I enjoy this one quite a lot. I feel like you need to like floral teas in order to like this one. Um, I might actually go in store over the weekend and stock up on this. I don't know. They have it at my local David's Tea, so I might buy a few hundred grams. I don't know. Maybe. Just to have it with me. Uh, so yeah, that was my review on David's Tea's Be The Change. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And thank you so much for watching.